G'day folks. Yep, we got abducted by aliens in our last video and spent a little time exploring the red planet before coming back to Earth. This resembles Mars. NASA actually bought their Mars rover over here to undergo its training before they send it up to Mars. It really does feel like we're on another planet. We are still in the Canary Islands and at three and a half thousand meters above sea level, this is Mount Titi National Park. Covering around 19,000 hectares of land, fair dinkum. This is an alien environment. To us, he was a giant. It's also a very harsh place where not much lives or grows around here at all. <laughs> what stands out is the amazing rock formations that just go on and on to the horizon. This place really takes your breath away. All I can say is, oh my god. I've never seen anything like it. In the centre of the park is the very impressive Mount Titi Volcano. It's one of the biggest active volcanoes in the world and is an incredible seven and a half kilometres high from the Atlantic Ocean floor. Time to go to the top in the very handy cable car. So grab a brock grenades and proximity mines. Together they ran the ocean. He tell us what what would you say? If I could build a little vessel that could take us to another time and place. What would you say? If the burning of the engines could be powered by the smile on your face. What would you say? Would you follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me around the way? So bloody good. Freaking amazing! So we are actually 4,000 meters above sea level. The air is so thin and the view is friggin' amazing. Crikey! So high is an understatement. It's it's like the thin air and I'm already feeling dizzy. Yeah, so am I. It's like Feel like you've got vertigo. Nah, I think it's the the air. Yeah, it is, but it's, it's that feeling. Of so cold up here. It's like zero degrees, and I'm wearing shorts. So cold. We're going to take the trip back down. Come on! So the elevation is so high up here that the vegetation has developed its own strategies to adapt to these type of conditions. How incredible! Managing the environment of this giant park would be daunting, but you can see it's kept to its pristine. This is a very unique part of our planet, and the people of the Canary Islands must be very proud to have this pure wonder of the world right on their doorstep.